Welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in again. Welcome to your old subs, welcome to your new subs. If you're not subbed, do me a favour, click sub. Like 60% or something, you guys are not subbed. So if you do watch regularly, might as well give me a sub, right? <laughs> right, so today, today, I, I had so many grand plans for today. Anyone that's followed this channel for a while will, will, will notice a pattern, right? Like, if I'm not feeling it, I'm just not going to do it. I like having fun, right? So <laughs> I like pick fun over like mad fitness or content or like whatever like fun is like my like number one goal when i go out for a ride at the minute that said it doesn't mean i'm not going to go hard today i really feel like going hard so i had a bit of a smash here it's been a long time it feels since i had a proper nice smashy gravel ride and now i've got this in peak power meter i can actually see data like whilst i'm riding so it's really nice so plan today is right i'm already on a gravel trail i've done a bit of a warm-up i'm just gonna have a real good smash out ride fast have fun and probably go and find a coffee somewhere i'm gonna mix together loads of routes that i do know it's a bit dark so we'll see how good the gopro deals with that i find it a bit limited in low light to be honest so i might get an eight you know but anyway gopro randomness aside gonna go gonna pin it gonna just shred sweat and um hopefully get muddy it's been bucketing down with rain for the last few days so yeah super stoked super stoked it's gonna be a good fun one so you guys come with me and we're gonna go have a load of fun right let's go oh this feels very unfamiliar <laughs> I love it i do like this vlog is probably going to be a series of me just stopping and randomly saying like this is amazing i love it but uh <laughs> yeah i think like having that break was a really nice thing um i do need to do more structured stuff but for today just going out pinning it and bombing around kind of aimlessly it's just really fun i mean i've got a power meter so i know when i'm putting an effort in and basically i haven't got like a set number i just ride hard when i want to ride hard and have a bit of a chill on the downhill so basically i'm riding hard most of the time and they're not riding very hard at all on the downhill and um it's mega <laughs> and this one's closed look like normally i climb over but it's going to be so overgrown now i'm gonna to have to go on the road so let's do some road efforts woohoo just like some random old road oh, I'm pooped I'm actually only gonna do an hour well an hour and a half in total but that was 15 warm up 15 cool down and I've only gone half an hour ah. I've got no idea um, 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 actually, whilst we we're here, I always find an excuse to have a break. <laughs> oh, my legs are all jelly. So I had a creaky cassette, right? And I've been emailing E13 about it, um, cause it's just not stopping creaking. So I've just taken it off. So that's like an update on my creaky set. I got rid of the creak by getting rid of the cassette, you know, so hopefully they'll send me some bits to make it work. So I've gone back to a 42, like as my biggest, um, cog on the rear. So I've lost two teeth. But honestly, like, I don't really notice and it doesn't creak, so I'd much prefer that. So anyone thinking about buying an E13 cassette, right? Honestly, unless the newer model, they've addressed that issue, I'd check, like, before I buy it, personally, because you don't want to be buying something that doesn't work straight away, right? You want to spend 200 bucks on, like, a cassette, it needs to work out the box. SRAM one, bang it on, works. Shimano one, bang it on, works. So, so the E13, like, you know, sorry E13, but doesn't work does it show you that sticker whilst it's still there it's getting worn off pretty quickly right excited talking too fast let's crack on what's down here cockington going to cockington Right, 
it wouldn't be a smashy ride about a few sprints, right? I'm getting to the end of it, so might as well. I think I did quite well last time. I think I got 1400, didn't I? Right, anyway, I'm gonna put you on and let's see. Wow, that one sucked. I think it was really bouncing on the chest here as well, so sorry. I'm gonna try that again. Well, in a minute, I'm gonna have a bit of a recovery first, then try it again. Stop. Guys, look. If I'd have just started doing an effort then, I'd have missed that. And you'd have missed that. So, yeah, you're welcome. This is the thing with a power meter, right? I just end up playing. Like, <laughs> I should be doing like structured training. I'm like, oh, I wonder how big a number I can hit or blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, power meters are fun. Um, right, enough waffling, let's go. Twelve forty-four. Oh my god, bit pants. But that's kind of weirdly up and down the hill, so I'm blaming that. Right, straight back into threshold. Whoop. Sprint straight into like a climb, <sighs> mate. It's so hard. Five minutes left. You know, I know those hills are so steep, you all oh, opals. King of procrastination here. This is the issue of all the um, trails around here. Look, they're like so overgrown. You can barely get down them now. They only get cut once a year, so they're all right for a few months and then they're pants and they just rip your hands apart. Right, back on the road. Last bit of this effort. One more sprint. Oh. And then time for a beer, I think. Definitely earn it today. Right, 1300 watts. That's a nice round number to finish on, isn't it? I really enjoyed it today. It was really nice. It's a good way to ease back into training for me. So a lot of times I go all into things. I get a bit burnt out, you know? So it is about pacing yourself, you know? I need to learn to pace myself a bit better and like not take on too much, you know? Like I've reduced my number of vlogs. I was doing like one every other day and now I'm doing one every three days. And um, it's much easier. It's a lot less stressy and a lot more enjoyable. And having a break from training just made it all so much more enjoyable today. I didn't just start doing some actual proper training sessions. I would definitely, definitely do some more in-depth training simplified kind of vlogs in the future. But um, like I said, I'll do that on the sofa, having a beer or a coffee, probably a beer. We do it in the evening, right? So you can have a beer. Like I'm not an expert. I know how you can get faster and things you can do to make yourself faster. So I guess we'll just kind of chat about that. But um, for now, really hope you enjoyed this. I loved it. It's a really fun little route. Yeah, so any questions to do a training, like, you know, simple ones, let me know below. But then loads of you guys know loads of stuff. So if I can't answer it, maybe someone else in the comments can answer it. So we're like a hive mind. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah, you guys rock. You always rock. You know you rock. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.